Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Petrol Chainsaw. It's a nice simple asset and although I have reviewed a chainsaw asset before, I want to take a look at this one because this one's a little bit different. So if we look at the actual asset itself, its quality is fairly decent. One thing I will say though is it's a bit distracting to have the name of your particular company or whoever you are on the asset itself. Uh, I feel like that's a little bit of shameless self-promotion and it will turn quite a lot of people away from this asset, unfortunately. But that doesn't mean to say that it's a bad asset because it isn't a bad asset. It's quite nice. So if we look at it, the quality is fairly standard for what you'd expect. Uh, it is free at the time of recording this video, as we can see. Free. The size is 7 meg, which is fairly decent, to be fair. Uh, we do only get one uh, chainsaw. It's just duplicated here, so we can see different sides of it. So quality, yeah, it's okay. It's not too bad. It's it's about what you'd expect. Quantity, you get the chainsaw. You get what you're given, what it's advertised. There's no extras, nothing else, which is good enough at the end of the day. Uh, now, this chainsaw itself is just one piece. There's not nothing particularly overly amazing about it, in all fairness. Um, I guess you could animate it if you wanted to, but it is all one piece, which means the chain won't actually move, which is a little bit of a shame. I mean, you could customize it a little bit if you wanted to and perhaps add a little bit extra to it. But, you know, there are other assets out there which are already pre-made that way. So you could just do that. Now, I always say to add a little bit of post-processing, and sometimes that can go a really long way. Uh, if we add a quick post-processing profile, we can see, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, we can also change a couple of things if we want to. You know, we could go to the materials and we could play around with things. We could also go to the textures and create, let's say, a normal map and customize it that way to give it a bit more of a, uh, a gritty feel. Is gritty the right word to use? Uh, it could be. So let's just quickly apply a... Uh, normal map to it. Let's just see out of curiosity how this actually looks. So on the chainsaw itself we can see we can go to here down to the material and let's just apply that normal map. So it looks grim grotty but at this point you can kind of tell that it is all one object and that's where it becomes a little bit disappointing. But you can reduce the normal map to you know just slightly and you can see it that way and it looks a little better to some degree. I think it just depends what type of game you're making. So how useful is this asset going to be in a game? To be fair not very useful in pretty much any game unfortunately. I think it'd be great as a prop, you know, just on a shelf, as long as you have it the other way around, this way, because I really feel that that is just a bit silly to have on the asset itself. It's so disappointing. But I guess you could always modify the texture yourself and just erase it. But then again, why should you? But at the same time, it's like customize these assets as much as you can. So I am going to hold it against the developer just a little bit because it's terrible this kind of shameless self-promotion because people who want to use these assets and you know for testing purposes and it's a little bit distracting but either way like I said I think it's a great asset to have as a background prop in like a tool shed or something it's not going to be useful for a weapon in some kind of zombie slaying game or something like that uh, so you could probably have it in maybe just a standard open world game you know even something like grand theft auto you know you go into someone's house and there's a garden shed there or something and on a shelf in that garden shed is a chainsaw there you go you've got your chainsaw right there i think it'd be good for something like that uh, obviously the folders are neatly laid out and we do get the demo scene which is always good to see even called demo scene brilliant um but overall yeah it, it serves its purpose but it's very limited in what it can do so as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And I don't think I would recommend this one, unfortunately. Um, it's a nice asset, don't get me wrong. And I think I would recommend it for people who just want a prop. But there aren't many people out there who just want a chainsaw prop. People who would want a chainsaw would want it animated, movable, do different things with. Uh, this, unfortunately, isn't one of those assets. But like I say, prop, fine. Uh, if anything else, I wouldn't recommend. I... I'm sorry, there are things I would change about this asset. Um, first thing I would do is I would actually make the chain itself um, animated. I'd actually make it its own separate object so even the user could animate it. And definitely remove that from the texture. 
definitely. Um, I, I get you want to advertise. If you are the developer watching this, don't get me wrong. There's no um, hatred towards this. It's a nice asset. It is a very nice asset. Just those two things change, and this would be a... It would go from a two asset to a seven or eight asset out of ten. So, yeah, uh, unfortunately. But, yeah, if you want a prop, there you go. So, guys, have you used this asset in your game? If you have, let me know what you think of it. Um, if you like the asset, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know why you didn't like it. If the same reasons I did, just let me know for the same reasons. And if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, please let me know as well. I'd love to check it out. And finally, don't forget, click that subscribe button and click that bell icon as well. And you can stay up to date with loads of development tutorials that I put on this channel, as well as reviews, gameplays of games you guys have made. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you around in the video. Thanks very much for watching, guys.